Yo, welcome back to Vicman 16 channel. And for today, we're going to be talking on top 10 Umbrella Academy fight scenes. We already know that season 3 has been released already. So this is a compil compilation of the fight scenes of both the first and second season. For those guys that just want to start watching the franchise and for those people who want to just relieve the joy of the first two seasons. Don't forget to subscribe, share, like and leave a comment. Let's start off. Okay, now 10 on our list is Diego, aka number 2. We all know that Diego has awesome combat abilities, plus the power of train and misdirecting knives. Even in season 2, they showed us that he could actually stop bullets with his mind. So, now for this 10 on our list, he stops some guys from hijacking a home. So, that's what he's doing here on this top 10. On this 10. I heard a rumor. What? What did you say? Okay, so here we have the Umbrella Academy. Well, I could say seven, but six of them are stopping a bank robbery. In season one, we can see that their father has been training them from when they were small. I'm, I'm telling you, he was training them from like that five-year-old, six-year-old time to stop bank robberies and the rest because of their abilities Alison having rumor powers Diego with his knife train Luther with his super strength Five with his blinking and the rest so that's it for this one that's one badass stapler Now, taking the 8th spot is what I like to call 5 versus 5. <laughs> Funny enough, this fight starts off with Luther getting kicked in the balls by his brother. The fight is actually really mad. I think it occurs around... Yeah, it, was, it happened in season 2, of course, yes. So the fight starts off with them blinking from one place to another, trying to get the upper hand, trying to do this, trying to do that. But at the end, Uluta actually finds a way to stop them. Now, seven on our list is Lila actually helping Five defeat a Swedish brother. So those Swedish brothers are sent from the commission to kill Five and his family from messing up the timeline. But Lila protects Five because the handler, which is also her mom, tells her to protect him due to some fact that she has one alternative motive. So she helps him, but then Five is obviously suspicious of her. But at the end, they finish that Swedish brother off and we go on. Or should I say, he goes on through a window. we see five killing the board members of the commission this scene shows us how crazy and insane five can be and how far he can go to save his family he was trying to get a deal with the handler so he can get a briefcase so his family can return back to 2019 that was like the aim but a small part of me really felt that he enjoyed killing them See with the guys smiling, he enjoyed killing them. The fight is really mad and well, sad to say, no one made it alive. Whoa, here we see Hazel and Chacha going head to head. What makes this fight so interesting is the fact that friends could just suddenly become enemies. I mean, these guys were so close from last season one. 
They were so close, they were like really close friends. The reason for this fight was the, from the fact that Hazel was starting to fall in love with Agnes. She's the one with the donut shop. But then Chacha is like, oh, the commission sent us to do this stuff, but well, let's do it. But then Hazel is like, there's more to life, there's more to life. So because of this now, they are now going head to head, fighting, fighting. Well, this fight is also so intense because Agnes is literally hanging for their life. So yeah. So Yes, how it should be. For our fourth place, we see Lila going against five, like head to head, they're fighting. Five threatens to kill Lila the next time he sees her, and that is what he intended to do in this fight. If not for one person that saved her, which you were almost was lucky, you know, for the handler that saved her. What makes this fight so interesting is the coordination of the fight. And the fact that, I don't know, somehow, Lyra was just going from one place to another without us actually seeing her. It's just so weird. But then the fight is mad, the blues are mad. The slow motion is even whoa. This is actually a very good fight. Uh, that's why it's on our fourth place. You're better than I thought. You were entirely happy. Yes, in our third place, we have Luther, aka number one. He's generally supposed to be the leader of the Umbrella Academy. He's the one with super strength. And here he's going toe to toe with the boxer. The reason why he looks like um, part man, part ape is considering the fact that his dad saved his life when he was small. He mixed his DNA with ape DNA. So that's why he's like that. So in the beginning of this fight, his boss is like, yo, calm down, calm down, let this fight be interesting, small. And then later on, he defeats the boxer, like serious defeat. And that's why it's on our third place. Okay, second, we have a very dramatic fight between Diego and his dad now this is owing to the fact that his dad doesn't know that they are actually this is my son who so they are fighting that's the reason for the fight his dad actually thinks that he's trying to attack him so this fight goes on and the reason why it's on our top two is considering the fact of how dramatic it is I mean your son is fighting you stuff like that the fight is really interesting but at the end, Diego wants to strike his dad, but he can't, he can't strike his dad now. He's too emotional. He's kind of emotional. So his dad stabs him at the end and he almost dies in this scene. I even thought he was going to die safe. Okay, the moment you've all been waiting for. First on our list, we have number five, aka number five. Like this guy is so so vicious. He has the power of blinking. He can literally transport through space. He can transport through time. And right here, he's showing some commission officers trouble. Like he's just blinking using knife to stab them they are shooting at each other he's blinking for one place what makes this fight so interesting is how random and how like scary it makes five appear on enormous guys it's, it's even scary self this happens in season one in one of those episodes one two three four it actually happens to actually introduce how vicious and how fierce he can actually be this fight well you see how it ends Okay, that's all for our top 10 Umbrella Academy fight scenes. Don't forget to subscribe, share, like, even comment so you can know how we can serve you better. So, I hope you enjoyed and see you again soon. Thanks.